Hey guys, in this video we'll cover another few objectives for the MO200 exam and namely how we can merge and unmerge cells, modify cell alignment, orientation and indentation, and wrap text within cells. Before we start, as always, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So let's begin with merging and unmerging cells. We will do that on a separate sheet and let's write here some simple text, okay? Now all of the options for merging and unmer unmerging are available here. So on the home tab under the alignment group you have merge and center. We can click and use this option to merge all of the selected cells and center its content like that. We can also merge cells across, meaning horizontally, so A1 with B1 and A2 with B2, like that. We can merge cells, all of the cells without centering the content. And we can also unmerge cells. So for example, when I merge all the cells, I can unmerge them like that. Perfect. Another objective is to modify the cell alignment, orientation and indentation. Let's make this cell a little bit bigger. So here are all the options for alignment, indentation and orientation. Let's begin with the latter two, so the indentation. Let's perhaps use this and indentation is set here, so we can increase indent and decrease indent. Here is the orientation, so we can make it vertical or we could click format cell alignment and set the specific angle at which text should be displayed. So for example, let's set it to 60 and OK. Perfect. So that is orientation and now alignment. So here we can set top, middle and bottom alignment as well as left, right and center. For more options, always click this arrow down here and you have more alignment settings and some text control features like wrap text and we'll look into that now. So usually when you write some words, the Excel will continue to showcase them even if, if they are like outside the border of the specific cell. But now when I write something here, some character let's say, uh, we can't see all of its content, all of the content of this cell and in order to see that we would use the option to wrap text so it's one simple button that allows us to enlarge the cell in order to accommodate for all of its content. So yeah guys that is everything for today I hope you find it useful if so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!